that's enough, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's just enough. That's is it. That it? Sold out. Yeah. Um, sold. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode wow. on Anderton's TV. Hello. Uh, where today we are looking at uh, the two new space echo pedals yes. from the wonderful people at Boss. What a way to start a Monday. Yes, yeah. that Be was great. Before we start, like and subscribe. And uh, Please if you do. want to see any more demos, hit those little things in there where you can click and go to the next bit when we talk about yes. the other pedals or whatever. And if you're bored, Just, don't forget we have timestamps as well. Yeah, that's so, what I mean. Uh, that's, that's what, what I was, meant. That's what I meant. Anyway, what? Um, what? There, are, what? <laughs> there aren't many pieces of gear in the sort of, you know, the folklore of electric guitar and no. pedals and stuff that have influenced sounds in the way that um, the, you know, early tape machines did. So mm -hmm. uh, Roland with the, the Space Echo was, you know, it was a sound, you know, as, as Pete was doing all that sort of Floydy stuff. And, you know, many of those kind of uh, early... Um, Didn't just bring something else to the ambient, table. Yeah. yeah, delay kind of sounds. Would have been using, you know, either a, a copycat or a, 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 an Echo Rec or, or a Space Or this one. This was generally um, given to us. I paid like one pound. A guy called Pat came all the way from, uh, what was it? Where he come from? All, away, carried all the way on the plane and then said, I would like you to do yes. something with this. It's not working. It's a 110. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't uh, work. It doesn't work. Uh, so we do need to get it fixed at some point. But. To be fair, I kind of feel, you know, this kind of product is one of those ones where it, it, you know, it's so much more usable in a pedal than yeah. it is in a tape machine. Uh, maybe at some point or other, we'll get a little sweep of what one of these looks I'm like gonna inside, call, I'm gonna but, find you know. his Instagram, then I'm gonna, you can... Um... Or maybe I'll just lean it forward and we'll get a close up for you. So look, yeah, if you've never seen one of these, look at that. basically, oh, oh look, yeah, even the knob fell off. So you, you know, it is essentially um, a tape machine, you know, like as in, <laughs> Half the people watching this won't even know what a tape is. Um, but, you know, essentially the idea that you've got a, a, a tape with uh, magnetic heads on it, like an old cassette machine kind of vibe. And um, what would be happening? It would be recording and kind of wiping your uh, guitar tone. So, you know, yeah. it, it would record it and then play it back, you know, a few milliseconds later on the next head. Da -da -da -da. Anyway. It's really, really cleverly done back then, wasn't it? If you've yes. seen one of these in... in we see them just go like this yeah. around. You think it's going to break any I mean, minute, there, there are, I should say, you know, one, one of the most amazing pieces of engineering ever is the little T-Rex replicator. Yes. Is it called a replicator? Yeah, the, yeah. I think so. But yeah, you, you, they actually do make a proper tape machine in a pedal not much bigger than the ro yeah. 2 Hey, And people whatever. have redone that as well, which we haven't, we don't stock it, but... Full Tone can, did one, didn't Yeah, they? but yeah. there was somebody who's create, recreated the, really? the, uh, yeah, the 201 there. Anyway, hang this on. is... Look, That's that. Here, hang on, but wait, of wait, course, wait. These are thousand, you know, if you wanted to buy an original one of these off of eBay... That's Pat that brought it all oh, the way thank up. thank you very much, Pat. Yes, yeah, so... Um, well. You know, these cost an absolute fortune to buy secondhand now. Uh, and, you know, you need to spend money reconditioning them and all sorts. So, yes. anyway, uh, Space Echo is not new to the Boss range. There was a, an RE20 many moons ago that came out, a yeah. uh, little two-button pedal. Uh, but the uh, both the RE2 and the RE202 <laughs> are completely new redesigned engines, um, not available in any other Boss products, so obviously it's not the same as the old RE20, but you, you they haven't used this technology in things like GT1000 or anything. So this no. is these are unique. Yeah. Um, New design of that pedal, I love that. That is so cool. Yeah. So you've got the compact version or the slightly larger three-button version. They are the same um, sound engine uh, within the two pedals, just with one or two extra features on the bigger one, and of course more you know buttons and a, and a slight i think a slightly clearer kind of layout yes so in that opening jam uh you heard pete uh the distortion was coming from the the, the boss blues driver That's and we cool. switched it off at some point so you could see it obviously we were using the the re202 mm -hmm. coming out in stereo into two clean amplifiers which mm -hmm. with nothing switched on sound like this so there you go mm -hmm. um I think we're going to do the bulk of the demo on the RE202. Yes. And I'm just going to tell you that um, a couple of the features that you don't get on the RE2 are you've got this option for a new or an aged tape emulation on mm -hmm. the RE202. Uh, on the RE2, you just have the wow and flutter. So not really a way to, to perhaps emulate that. Wow and flutter. And then you've got this... Um, tape saturation almost this sense of a little bit of game which i suppose goes 
sort of hand in hand with the, the aging of the of the, the tape to a certain extent. And heads um, as well. Say again? And heads as well. It's like the whole thing just gets older and older yeah. and older and older, uh, isn't it? Other than that, though, everything that you can do on the 202, you can do on the RE2. Again, you don't have MIDI on the RE2 and you don't have these memory locations. So this is just an on and off. Yeah, but you've got, you've got expression pedals on yes. that and the other one as well, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So um, you can do this these additional warp and twist functions as a dance from the 60s. Ask your parents about it. The warp and twist? Uh, via, uh, again, the expression pedal input on the uh, RE2. <laughs> um, so let's start with a few demos. Um, if you're unfamiliar with essentially you know the, the concept of a, 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 a tape echo machine like this this would have had three tape heads in it um essentially they're sequential so you've got you know the first one the second one the third one and as you start to you know there'll be a, a sense of one will be the shortest delay then two a bit longer than three mm -hmm. the, the third one and you've got sort of micro controls you could always have adjusted how fast the tape went through so you yeah. had a little bit of adjustment as to um the the speeds of those the sort of redesigned pedals here i've got a fourth head added um lucky yes one more thing i forgot to tell you about on the re202 is um as well as being able to switch the reverb on and off from a foot switch whereas on here you physically have to turn it up or down uh this just has the spring reverb which is the basic reverb model on on the 202 if you one of the startup options is to select uh, one of four other different reverbs, plates, rooms, halls, and ambient, I think it's yeah. called. Yeah. So there's five in total with the That's spring. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So we're just using the spring reverb, by the way, on here. So let's turn it back on and let's just start going through it. So we're going to start. We're going to stay in manual mode. We're going to jump between <coughs> like the new and the age thing, so you guys can get an idea of how it sounds. Mm. I'm going to leave the reverb on, like sort of you know nine o'clock, pretty much all the time, mm -hmm. and we'll see what we get. So this is its first tape head mode. So I guess. It Oh, sounds good, doesn't it? That's almost I like that your. Sound. That's almost like your most basic echo function, isn't it? So I can adjust the speed of that. In fact, if I take reverb off, yeah, you you have literally got your very early kind of slap back kind of. some uh, wow flutter Repeat rate is slightly counterintuitive you you'd normally on a delay pedal expect the more you turn that up, the longer the delay would get. Yeah. But what this is emulating is the more you turn it up, the faster the tape speed goes and therefore the shorter the echo time mm. goes. Intensity is your number of repeats. Yeah. Again, you can turn this all the way up or do it via the expression pedal if you want to, to go into some of your sort of crazy feedback yeah. modes. You can tap the tempo as well, right? Which you can't do, of course, on a... Yes, you can do that on both of these, tap tempo. Yeah. Um, how long does it go? Let's see what, how long uh, Well, on the... tape head one, it'll be its shortest, when it's... So... So this keeps going, doesn't it? Can do. You can have. It goes that's, into that's oscillation. Kind of what the, sort that. of the warp thing is, yeah. is simulating, oh, isn't that's it? That's so good. Uh, so the second tape head will be a little longer. This was what we were do using for the opening jam. The third tape head longer still. This is where I kind of feel you can really get a sense of maybe if we go into age mode and add some wow and flutter. So 
turned it all off. Let's see what happens when you turn it off. Yeah, turn, turn it back on and listen to that. It's part of what I keep talking about, inspiration. It's just an inspirational thing to play something yeah. different, isn't it? It's lovely. Actually, whilst we're, great, I'm just going to go back to that tape head too, because I yeah. know that's how we set this one up. Mm -hmm. uh, just, just to basically show you that the two do sound this, pretty much the same. So... Little nuances here and well, there, I haven't, isn't there? I haven't you know, identically you got the set treble up, and the yeah. bass and the yeah, yeah. Um, Which okay, is called cool, right. Bass is what so is. now Ooh. we're into some of the. This is that kind of feel where the Space Echo, in fact, all these multi sort of head machines kind of gave artists new interesting sounds. Was yeah. where you start using the two heads together or three heads together. So let's have a little listen to that. So in the sixties and seventies, that was a big thing. I'm just going to say this right out now. I would buy the RE202 over the RE2 just, just for, that for the aging. New, absolutely. Of the, the, and I, then I those, prefer and those the two aged, switches you can hold down. Yeah, I, I mean, prefer the aged head mode, but I'm just saying that. I mean, so, yeah, it comes with age, doesn't it? <laughs> ah, see? <laughs> so, yes, so many jokes. Uh, no, but I, I mean, when you, you know, you. You don't need anything else, do you? I was listening to uh, Bigsby. Ala yeah, Alabama Shakes. Cool. They used that where they just got a massive kind of reverb on it, like so, like a. But maybe not so much delay. So when you take that down, so with the reverb and slightly bit, it was like. Maybe not so. Maybe not so much reverb, but you know. And if you want to see a comparison, because of course we can't compare these two, because this That's is true. one ten. So there was a great with Andy uh, reverb. Reverb, yeah, reverb have done an actual. And there's loads of other videos out there you yeah. can go and see if you want to see comparisons. Uh, next mode heads two and three together. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, I turned the uh, turned it down, didn't I? And then maybe the reverb down a bit, so it's not so overpowering. So I know this sounds like I'm being, my two favorite features of this pedal are the two features you don't get on the RE2. <laughs> oh. That's such a bummer. Saturation and the, the aging. The saturation is great. Yeah, listen, well, listen to the, right, so if I take the saturation off. Yeah. It's quite clean. So, but it'll, but it's just the fact that when you really get, go for it, you know. Like an awful. 
organ. It's almost like an organ. What's the length of that? Uh, length. That one here, isn't it? Oh, you, yeah, you want the other it way, yeah. yeah. yeah and so that's it. how many repeats this one. Because if you get the drive in the beginning, yeah, and then do you? I've just turned you, the drive on. The so pedal. you got like this. What do you want? More, do you like more? And obviously you can warp it just if you want. To just where it's going, oh, I'm up with that! Play the big chord. Again, are optional, so if you want yeah. to be able to switch the whole thing off as soon as you switch it off, you can do. Next mode, one and three. I'll, I'll try to rattle through these a bit faster, I think, now. Let me go back to its new mode. And turn it on, yes. Yeah, yeah, what helps. <laughs> Doesn't he always have a ding, 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 ding? He's always got triplets on it. All three? Okay, wow. right now we're into this little white line that just goes around from eight to 12, just indicates that now we've got the fourth uh, head going. So one and four. If I keep flip up, I probably will flick back to new mode, uh, most purely and simply because you know when I'm in new mode, that's what the RE2 can sound like as well. Yeah. Uh, and I won't gain the saturation up too much. So hopefully what you're hearing is basically you could do on either pedal now. Can we take it off just to remind ourselves what it sounds like without? Three and, Three and four. In Philadelphia, born and raised. <laughs> Congratulations on the Oscar, though. That was a, yes. a big achievement. Wasn't uh, I haven't watched the film. No, I haven't I'm either. Saying, Not <laughs> hugely <laughs> interested in tennis playing, but there we are. <laughs> Go 
going back to aging. So you turn the reverb up there, right? Well, that's look, hours, hours, and hours, and hours. It's of fun. a lot of fun. Do you want to do these settings? Uh, that's the presets. Well, so, yeah, again, one of the other the presets, things that it? obviously the bigger one can do over the small one is save for memory locations. And again, you just toggle through those. Or MIDI, if that's your thing. What's the first one uh, there? Like And then a slap back. It, well, it, and it is, it's saving wherever you've set everything yeah. as well as. So, Clever, man. Yeah, That's a great pedal, cool. isn't it? That's it's very, 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 very cool. cool. Um, but who needs tape? There was also, uh, again, both of these pedals will do this, that some guitar players are sort of famous for having uh, the... Uh, just the preamp, the preamp the foot, uh, yeah. drive that you would get. Yeah. Something. Like, I, mean, I, mean, I know it's something like the Echoplex is exactly. You can like buy the one Echoplex, of the most yeah. famous kind of boosty Boost things. Uh, but again, you can depending on. It's, it's one of those things where you have to power it up holding down a certain button. But you yeah, can toggle that on and off if you if you would rather not have the preamp element of it. Oh, can you? Yeah, so you hold on tap and then you plug it in. And then it boots up here. And then when you've got all your modes around here, so oh, say you're on in, on. 12 and then you can toggle through. So these will be all your reverbs on setting 12, then you go on 11, then it's a different, you know, it d does different things, which is all in the manual, different modes. You can set that inputs and outputs and length of the uh, delays and all sorts of stuff. And then you just click that and you're back out again. Because there's no ma menu menus on here, you, can, you can't deep dive yes. into it. So yeah, the you USB have to socket on the back. I wondered if the USB socket was going to be some sort of handy editor, but it's not, it's just for doing firmware updates. Yeah. So look, there you That's go. That's wonderful, um, isn't it? I, I love, I think Dan Steinhardt coined the phrase a character delay, you know, character something delay. that you buy that completely changes the character of the tone of your guitar yeah. and therefore inspires you to play different things. It's I would absolutely put these two pedals in that uh, category. Absolutely. Um, so yes, links are below. Uh, I think they're in stock now. They they've certainly were released during uh, be, end of March 2022. I think you'd be um, quick to buy those. They'll go so fast if you want one. Yeah, well, it's not limited yeah. edition. So, no. you, you oh, know, not, okay. no, so hopefully you don't uh, miss out uh, all Although Pete's probably right, yeah, on day one, I expect they'll be in short supply. Yeah. Um, there you go. I mean, you got a preference, you guys, between the two? I think we're going to get Jack over on our keyboard channel, which, again, hopefully we'll put a link uh, in the description below to subscribe to our keyboard channel, because yeah. they're both stereo in, stereo out, and there'll be loads of old kind of Hammond-y words. Oh, with a reverb, kind of with a, with a, yeah, with a Rhodes or something. It'll be yes. wonderful. Verlet's on there. Way. Absolutely. Well, there, look. There we are. Um, and, it, and stay tuned because one of the videos that we're going to release uh, in a few weeks' time is uh, Space Echo versus <laughs> um, 
Volante versus the new uh, Line 6, Line 6 DL2, Mark, well, DL4 the Mark, Mark II. II, all of which have uh, tape emulation, um, tape echo emulations uh, built into them. So there we are. You're um, right, the, the, I think the words this Monday morning kind of... Uh, it's little, 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 never little. easy like to, Monday morning. Yeah, just give me a slap. Get... Okay, <laughs> um, right. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in a video soon. Is it that bad? Is it? I mean, a haircut.